So first of all, Constance, congratulations on the film. I loved it and I really enjoyed it. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. I read you were really looking to play a character like Destiny. Why so? Well, um, I was looking at the time to play a character who's deeply lonely. Not because I'm deeply lonely, <laughs> but because I think loneliness is very pervasive in our culture right now. And I think that's why you see so much political polarization. I think social media gives you the illusion of human connection, but it sort of doesn't suffice. And I think um, bringing stories to light that examine people who are less than perfect and who are lonely and who are struggling, I think is a, is a, can be really healing for people in a time um, when loneliness is so pervasive. And so, yes, on the outside, it might seem like, oh, this is a glitzy, fun movie. And it is a fun movie. Yeah. Like, we had a great time. But like, what was most important for me in this movie was really just um, the heart of these girls, the heart of my character. I really cared a lot about her. And I do believe you did some extensive research as well to humanize these characters. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I, um, I mean, I definitely went to a lot of different clubs um, and I befriended a lot of different strippers. You know, I took them out to dinner. I got to know them as people. And they're regular people, you know what I mean? Like, they all have different dreams and desires and backgrounds and... Um, yeah, so I just got to know a lot of women. And, you know, I took pole dancing classes, but mm -hmm. the friendships were something that were really helpful to me. Speaking of pole dancing, I've taken one pole dancing fitness class in my whole life, and I was like, it was not pretty. So <laughs> can you talk about the training and what was your experience behind that? It was, yeah, it's very physically difficult. I mean, lucky for me, my character is not supposed to be so good at it, as good at it, because, you know, I don't have, like, the years of study that Ramona's character, uh, Ramona has. Um, yeah, it, it's difficult. So, so, you know, it really wasn't my focus. Really, my focus was just, like, the, uh, the back history of my character and how that informed her heart today. Um, and hopefully that shows, like, oh, maybe it shows, like, metaphorically in her dance. Right. She's trying. She you can just see doesn't that. have yeah. moves yet, you know? <laughs> One of my favorite scenes is a scene where the entire cast is on stage dancing for the celebrity that comes to the club. I can't imagine how much fun it must have been filming that. I'll tell you something about that scene. I know that scene's really fun, but I'll tell you something. It is really hard to have, like, eight girls on a stage Everybody in eight inch heels all trying to dance at once and look sexy just because you're like bumping into each other. We made it work. <laughs> you did. But okay. it was an illusion. Oh, we man. did have fun. We definitely had fun. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I was, that was one of my favorite scenes as well when I was watching that. So speaking of hustlers, when was the last time you hustled for something that you really wanted and you got it? Probably this job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably this job, you know, because what I'm most known for playing is a suburban mother of three in Orlando, Florida on my TV show. So I knew that, like, maybe the people couldn't imagine me in this part, but I knew what I wanted to do this part. I was certain of, that I wanted it and how I would approach it and what I would do with it. So I just made my own audition tape, and I just sent it to the casting directors. Um, and... Yeah, I really, I talked to the director, I told her my vision for it, I told her why it meant so much to me, and we, we discussed it, and um, I got it. You really <laughs> hustled for it, for sure. And lastly, if you could pick your stripper name and your stripper song. Ooh, my stripper name. I, I, I should have thought of this before. Probably Bunny. Because, you know, I have a bunny rabbit. Right, you do. Bunny rabbit. Um, my stripper song. You know what I used actually as playback in the thing was Maxwell, this woman's work. I like the slower things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's like more nice. sensual and slow. Thank you so much, Constant, for chatting with me. And again, like I said, wish you all the best. And you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you. Mm -hmm.